that's a run there. All right, hey guys. Well, it's uh, March 1st this morning here in Missouri. About 25 degrees, a little chilly, but it's supposed to get up to the mid 50s today. Very little wind. I drove up to this little river that pours into the Missouri River about a mile up from here, hoping that uh, maybe the walleye might be starting to swim upstream here. Uh, gonna do some vertical jigging and casting and bottom bouncing and kind of see what happens, see if we can throw together a walleye or two and hopefully get some good video doing it. So, beautiful day either way. It's my first time getting out in the kayak this year, so we'll see what happens here. What I got going here is I picked up some of these, some minnow scented gulps. Uh, I've heard that uh, cold water walleye like a little bit of scent when their metabolisms are down and they're moving kind of slow. Never tried these before, but I've heard good things, so they definitely have a pretty powerful scent. And I'm just going to be letting it sink down to the bottom and just popping it up and down off the bottom real slow. Try and trigger that instinctive bite. Water temperature is about 39, 40 degrees. You can see on the fish finder there. Pretty deep river here. This is my first time in it. Uh, we're at 25 and a half feet right now. Uh, definitely deep enough, I would think, to find some walleye in. Little quarter ounce white jig head there. I'm just going to take this gold minnow. Rig it up just like this. Push that up on the prong so it doesn't come off. And we'll see what we can make happen here. I'm going to kind of move around until I can find a, a ridge or a drop off or something like that. Where I can actually see a, a good amount of fish down on the bottom on the, on the graph. And we'll go from there. Alright, I've been jigging for a while. It's pretty slow fishing when you're going for walleye. Water's so cold. I hooked up with a nice uh, buffalo carp here. No, that's not a buffalo. That's actually a Asian carp. It's an invasive species here in Missouri. So, I'm not going to keep him, but since he is invasive, I'm going to get him killed and get back to walleye fishing. All right, so I've just kind of been drifting along here, bouncing off the bottom, doing a little prospecting, and I finally hooked up with something after about, oh man, that's a run there. I don't know what I hooked into, but it's something pretty big. I got my life vest on, so hopefully it's not messing with my camera much, but. Let's see if we can get this guy in. If it's a walleye, it's massive, but I'm thinking it's probably a carp or a catfish. Hopefully I can keep him in play here until I get to take a look at him at least. He's running. Life jacket's messing with my camera, I think. Oh, it's a paddlefish. I hooked a paddlefish in the mouth. He tried to eat my jig. <laughs> oh, that made the trip worth it right there. See if I can get you guys a shot of this. I cannot believe that. Come here, buddy. They only have to be, granted they're not in season right now, but they only have to be 24 inches to keep in this spot. Here on the 15th when season opens, so this would be a keeper. 
I just caught a paddlefish from the kayak. Look at that guy. Check that out. Look at that. Hooked him in the mouth. That's unbelievable. I'm gonna lay him down here and try and get a picture. And then release him safely since he's out of season. I cannot believe that. Got a couple good pictures of him and we'll send him on his way. If it was March 15th right now and the season was open, he'd be going home for dinner. But uh, at least I know this is a good spot come a couple weeks from now. I've never, never heard of a paddlefish biting a jig before, but he sure did. Let's send him on his way and thanks for the fight, buddy. Make sure he's healthy. Oh, yeah. He's ready to go. How cool is that?